Ready? Okay. All right, so the next thing, we've got our wing cut out, and we're going to create the airfoil. Remember, the airfoil is the most important thing for the plane uh, to make it fly. This is what the Wright brothers use Bernoulli's principle, and they have a little curve on the front of the wing, and it tapers off to the back, which creates that low-pressure zone on top and a high-pressure zone on the bottom, which is what lifts the plane up. So for us, we are going to sand it a little bit to get that same effect. And what I would do, I don't have a pencil on me, but what I would do, is there a pencil in that box right there? Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a couple of arrows on here so I know where the front of my plane is because you may lose track after you've been sanding a little bit. And I'll take a piece of my sandpaper. What I did is I just put it on the edge. Just put it right on the edge of my foam board, curved it around here, and sanded lightly until I got a little bit of a curve on the front. It doesn't take much. Okay, and then same thing here. Okay, so all I did is just curve my sandpaper around. And really what you want to make sure to do is make sure that it's even. All right? So you want this curve to be even across the front of your plane. You could do it like this, but if you have it on your foam board, there's less of a chance that you're going to break your wing. And remember this balsa wood is really thin and it can break easily. All right? So you can do as little or as much sanding as you want. Like I said, at the end of the day, you want a curve on here and you want it to be symmetrical across your wing. Then on the back, we want to create a taper. So we want it to be thinner, much thinner at the back than it is at the front. So we're going to taper this. Same thing here. I'm going to do half of the wing at a time. So I'm going to start at the top of the wing here, and I'm going to continue going across the whole thing at a time, and then I'm just going to work my way I'm going to work my way back down the wing. So I'll end up sanding more at the bottom than I do at the top. So I'm trying to sand the whole wing at the same time, so it's even, back and forth here. So I'm trying to get the, the sandpaper on the entire wing, and then I'm just going to work backwards. So that way I'm sanding a little bit at the front end, and then it ends up sanding a lot towards the back. And again, you can do as little or as much sanding as you like. We're not going to do a ton of it. We're just going to create a little bit of a taper towards the back. Okay. All right, and if we look closely at it, you probably won't see it on the camera. But at the end of the day, we just want this to taper back here. And you can spend as much time as you like doing that. Um, but we're not going to spend a ton of time on it. So sanding that will give you this curve in the front, a taper in the back, and again, creates a low pressure zone on the top and allows this high pressure that's on the bottom to lift the plane.